All right, everybody, here's the deal. Let me get right to business here. I'm a little pissed off tonight. Um, my channel has had great positive vibes. I don't want to go back into rant mode. Tonight's one of those nights where I've got to call out and be the voice of the public at large. DC Designs, um, I was looking forward to their F5 update tonight. Now, in the particular case, uh, the developers are not really in control of when their updates hit the market. I know they just, DC Designs, SC Designs just placed a Facebook article uh, that they have updated the F5, but when that comes out, I'm assuming it's going to be next week. That is three weeks after the initial release, and the thing is completely broken, basically unflyable. It had had a horrible, horrible initial uh, reaction from basically everybody, from PC to Xbox. Um, it was not good, and it really tarnished DC Designs, SC Designs in this particular case. This is the danger of not having anybody test your stuff. I know you're probably not going to have me ever work with you guys, DC Designs, because you're ultimately you know, grudged against me because I call you guys out. Um, and look at these details, by the way. I mean, I wanted to show you this is basically on most of DC Designs planes. As you can see, I'm going to take my uh, cursor there. As you can see, it's basically not shadowing out on, on the tail. And I, I believe, I could be wrong, that that's on a lot of DC planes. As you can see, the light's coming right through. The light would never come through. I'm not here to bash every single detail. I'm just saying that you've got our money, and by the time we can enjoy and fly this aircraft, it will have been three weeks, nearly a month after its release. That has got to change. You have got to do whatever it takes for your fans. Am I a fan of DC Designs? It's hard to say that I fully am not a fan. Because they're responsible for the F-16, F-15, all my Air Force jets that I love. So I I'm just saying, guys, you know, get your shit together, man. And, and do the right thing. Put time into it. If you're not going to have folks test your stuff on Xbox or whatnot, make you test it. You buy an Xbox and do not release that. I know you guys said on your Facebook that 50% of people were having bugs. Fifty. I don't even believe that. I think everybody was having bugs. That's my personal opinion. I don't know that for a fact. But the plane has serious issues, and uh, for you guys to just figure that out after its release is an unacceptable journey. I know sometimes things are going to be bugged. This is technology, right? I understand that. It's, it's hard to demand perfection, and I don't think anybody is demanding perfection. But you've got to do better. You have got to raise your standards because now we have to wait three weeks, and I'm personally irritated as hell tonight that that update's not out. I was looking forward. I want to fly my F5. And I can't. So um, I feel I'm speaking for the public at large. Um, go to a higher standard and get serious, guys. Get serious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold you to the fire because it doesn't seem like anybody else is ever willing to have the courage on their YouTube channels to to ever speak truth. And that's what I offer. And I know my viewers are appreciated. So um, there's a few more things I got to talk about tonight. And uh, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are as well. Later.